protection, let's take a look at covering control surfaces and the fuselage. There is an excellent section in your manual on pages 59 through 65 that also discusses this. Ailerons are like little wings, so nothing is different except that their narrow width gives you the option of using one piece of fabric instead of two and have a glued seam only at the trailing edge. Tail feathers are covered in much the same way as wings and ailerons. They will have a one inch fabric to fabric lapped seam. No need for any two inch seams like there are on the leading edge of a wing. Most tail feathers are made of tubing and the seams will always be made over these. Depending on the width and shape of the surface, you can cover them with one or two pieces of fabric. We'll cover this horizontal stabilizer and demonstrate using one piece of fabric. Start by laying enough fabric out flat on a large work table to cover both sides of the stabilizer. Rest the stabilizer vertically on its straight hinge edge in the middle of the fabric. With the number two pencil, mark on the fabric where the hinge points are. Using a sharp razor blade, Carefully make small cuts at the marked locations to allow the hinges to poke through. Do not cut off the little flaps yet. After shrinking the fabric, you will know exactly how much to trim. Using a little polytack, cement the fabric to the straight edge tubing. Lay the stabilizer flat on the table with the bottom of the stabilizer resting on the fabric. Cement the bottom fabric to the straight side of the stabilizer and trim with a sharp razor blade. Heat form the bottom fabric around the remaining curved area of the stabilizer. Clip around the ribs and other obstructions so you can wrap the fabric neatly around the tubing. Draw a line where you want to trim, allowing at least a one inch wrap if possible. If the tubing diameter isn't large enough to accept a one inch glued area, trim to allow for the most you can get. Cement to the tube, using your fingers to press the fabric in place and force the polytack through the fabric. Now one side is complete. Clean up any drips and roughness from the polytack seeping through the fabric with MEK. Smooth any wrinkles with the iron before cementing the top fabric to the bottom. Turn the stabilizer over so the covered side is up. Before proceeding, do a little shrinking on this side at 250 degrees to create a firmer surface on which to cement the one inch seam. It is a lot easier to make a neat seam if the fabric you're cementing to is flat and firm. Using the pencil, mark the location for cuts in the fabric for the straight edge. Put a small line of polytack on the pencil line so it won't fray, cut, and cement. Now heat form the second side around the tube. Mark the one inch seam allowance from the center of the tube, coat the line with a small amount of polytack so it won't fray when cut, and trim. Starting in the center, cement your seam and don't forget about the squeegee. Done. The rest is easy. You know how to complete the stabilizer because you've already done all the steps on the wing. Here are the steps again. Iron both sides at 250 degrees, ironing from end to end towards the middle. Don't iron the cemented seams. Iron both sides at 350 degrees. Put a check mark on the bays when you're finished with each. Wash with MEK. Brush with one coat of poly brush. Put down reinforcing tapes and rib stitch. Apply finishing tapes. 